Hi, so in this video we are creating a ghost voice, a spooky ghost voice within Audacity. So this is the original audio. Let's create a spooky ghost voice effect within Audacity. And if you noticed, on purpose I've created this room tone recording at the very beginning and a bit of it at the very end of my track. So I want you to do that as well because we are going to apply the reverb effect and you will need all of this space. And once all of that is figured out, you're going to have to create a copy of your track. And for the first track, go to select it and go to effect and reverse. And then we're going to go again to effect and we will apply reverb. We'll go to presets and settings and choose medium room. And again, go to effect and reverse it back again. And again, apply the same reverb. So if we play it, we'll play it solo now. Let's create a spooky ghost voice effect within Audacity. It's already ghost-like, but with the second track, we will apply a bit of a, like a spooky background ambience. So we're going to do the similar stuff again, select the second track and apply reverse effect. And now again, apply reverb, but this time we are going for another factory preset cathedral. So it's much harsher, it has larger room size setting and all of that. And it's not even audible anymore. And again, we're gonna reverse the track. And we will apply the same effect again. And if we, if you listen to it solo, right? It's barely audible what I'm saying right there. Just created this spooky atmosphere, spooky ambience. And uh, now essential thing that we'll do is again, at least this time we're going to select both of the tracks and go to effect and choose the pull stretch effect. And I like to use stretch factor 1.1. You're going to go ahead and apply it. And we, if we listen to the track now, let's create a spooky ghost voice effect within Audacity. Right, so quite spooky, but we can again go to effect and if we want to, you can change the pitch a bit. So with the pitch effect, if you lower the pitch and a couple of semitones is usually enough, it will make your voice deeper in terms of pitch and a bit more demonic, like an evil ghost or something like that. And now if we play this, Let's create a spooky ghost voice effect within Audacity. And that's about it. That's how you create a spooky ghost voice in Audacity.